For over 40 years, Photo Central has been serving the needs of Winnipeg's photographic community. Whether an amateur hobbyist or full-time professional, Photo Central's commitment to outstanding service and customer satisfaction has made them a fixture of the photographic scene. This morning, I'm joined by owner Andrew Taves. Hello there. Good morning. What a pleasure it is to have you here, Andrew. Thank uh, you. Great to see you. Uh, I, I guess I should begin with a, a full disclosure for the audience. Um, when I'm not here, I'm a photographer, and we know each other from my, my other life, if you will. But every time I walk into the store at Photo Central, um, you ask about Classic 107. So when Kim, one of our, our salespeople here at the station, told me that, that you'd be advertising with us, I, I was beyond elated. It's like my worlds are colliding. I, I'm so thrilled. Well, that's good. That means we've made a good impression on you, at least. Yeah, so no, definitely. That. And I think a, a great impression with uh, all the Winnipeg photographers here in town. So they know a lot about Photo Central. But for all of the other audience, t tell us a little bit about the store. It's been um, in the family since 1975, right? It has been. Uh, Photo Central was actually previously owned by the Independent Jeweler Group as Independent Photo. My father started managing that business in 1975 and in 1991 was given the opportunity to purchase it. And he did so successfully and, and it became a much larger business at that time and uh, expanded uh, well beyond anything that we had expected. And then it uh, fell to me to take it over about 11 years ago. And uh, we moved in that time and we've embraced a lot of changes in the industry and it's just been a fantastic ride. I mean, it is uh, uh, quite the change in the industry. I mean, uh, the big one being from film to digital, but more than that, demand, uh, camera innovation and, and, and so much more. I'm curious, um, thinking back to, to 1975, if you will, what was the independent camera store scene like then as compared to now? The difference then was that if you wanted to take a picture or have a picture, you had to deal with a camera store and, or at least a camera department. And most of the, the big uh, department stores like Eaton's and the Sears and the Wolko's, they would have photo departments. But the, the specialist store, the, the store that, that knew their equipment and would have all the brands was really where most people would end up. And there were a lot of independent photo stores at the time. And uh, we came on the scene uh, along with uh, a couple of other new news stores in, in the mid-70s and uh, just rode with all the changes. Uh, there were a lot of big changes, but it also changed the way business was done. It, was, it changed the way uh, one interacted with customers and uh, whether that was a one-hour photo which came along in the 80s uh, or the, of course, the massive dev digital revolution as we call it, which completely altered the landscape and took our products into the mainstream, took it into the big box stores and those arenas and of course then online shopping. So we've had to navigate a lot of changes, a lot of different ways of, of dealing with customers, uh, providing service when people don't realize that that uh, provision is available to them anymore. Yeah. I, so what do you attribute um, your success to then? I mean, all of those transitions, all of the kind of the 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 the, the um, popularity of cameras now, you guys are still going strong, um, um, sort of against the odds story, right? We are. And a lot of that, I think all of it really comes down to our emphasis on relationship, uh, the emphasis of relationship with our suppliers, with our staff. I don't have staff turnover. Uh, I almost never have a staff member leave, and when they do, they come back. Uh, we just recently welcomed back a staff member who left yeah. uh, to go Gibbs on to back, bigger right? and better things. Yeah. Gib is yeah, back, yeah. and never have I had somebody so mourned when he left as Gib, and I was so happy to have him back. Um, but also that relationship with our customers. We have customers. We have watched them grow. We're second-generation store, but I've seen three, four generations of some families. I've seen them grow up. We see them coming in, teaching their children, getting pictures printed of their children, uh, and then watching those children graduate, watching those children get married, and then having children of their own. We have those relationships with our customers, and it just comes down to making sure that every time somebody leaves, whatever they've wanted, whatever they've needed, they've received it, and they received it in a professional and friendly uh, way, and we just, uh, that's what makes it so fun to come to the job, and our staff love it.
No doubt. Um, you have to shout out the, the the incredibly knowledgeable staff at Photo Central and just the incredible friendly staff. And, and that really is one of the big advantages to, to buying locally, right? You guys are Winnipeggers selling to Winnipeggers. Absolutely. It's, it's familiar and friendly. Um, and in terms of those those clients, um, Photo Central is a full service uh, camera store for professionals, but also amateurs too, right? If someone's just looking for something, you know, less in, imposing or intimidating than some of the big cameras you see out there. Absolutely. And the professional market is a very small market. We're, we don't stay in business because of the professional market. We stay in business for people who just love a good photograph, whether they want to take that photograph or they want to have that photograph printed in some way. Uh, those are the people that we really engage with, the, the people who just love what they're doing and uh, have questions, want those questions answered. Uh, we will get involved in whatever process you're, you're pursuing, whether it's the printing or the, or the buying of, of equipment. We want to get to know you. We want to find out what the best thing for you is because there's a lot of information out there and it's hard to sift through and know what is actually applicable. So uh, I'm curious, uh, you, you know, you're talking about the printing side of things. Can we talk more about that? It's, it's not just the sales, but also the production. So that, that includes photo prints or fine art prints. Um, you guys also do some, some cool like photo gifts too, right? Like ornaments? That's we, the thing? Yeah, we yeah. do everything. And Christmas yeah. is coming. And, yeah. and this, is a, this is a very busy time for our, our, our lab. Uh, we do a lot of photo gifts. And this time of year, uh, we still do a lot of the traditional printing, the canvas prints, uh, the enlargements, the family photos. They make great gifts. But we also see a, a large increase in orders of things like mugs, puzzles. Uh, Christmas ornaments are very, very popular this time of year. So whatever photo you have, uh, assuming it's the right shape for the product you want, and we can talk to you about that, uh, bring it in and uh, and you can have it uh, sort of made into a, a permanent fixture for the holidays. I know yeah. my wife loves having every year getting that new family photo on an ornament on the tree, uh, just something to, to mark time with. Oh, uh, how, uh, how adorable is that? Oh, it's, it's uh, fantastic. And I guess the last thing I want to mention is um, the lab can also process, develop, and scan films. So if people have... Uh, um, let's say some old film laying around or some old slides that, that are sitting there and maybe they want to make those into an ornament. You guys, you guys can handle that too, right? Absolutely. The digitization process. And we're seeing more and more of that uh, because the generation that shot film is, is getting older. They're moving, they're downsizing. So we're seeing the boomers wanting to preserve a lot of these photos yeah. uh, for their children or their children now finding these photos and saying, hey, what are these? I never knew these existed. Or we want to preserve these for family memory. And so we do see a lot of uh, orders coming in for scanning, whether it's slides or prints. And we can basically, whatever form you want them to be in, we can make sure they get into that form and keep them safe and, and relevant. Yeah, super important to print things. Absolutely. Um, I mean, it, there's nothing like uh, going through an old closet, coming across a shoebox, and finding some old prints in there to go through. And I, I don't know if we're going to do that with hard drives. It's not like we're going to be, I don't know, in 20... 50 or something going like, ah, yes, my old hard drive. Let me scroll through that. No, uh, to, to have those physical, um, tangible things is, is very important, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know with my children uh, who are uh, a great age right now, they don't really have much interest in looking at the screens or the pictures on the screen. They see screens all day long. And, uh, but if you show them a photo album, even if they don't even know who the pictures are of, they're just uh, fascinated and they yeah. just want to see more and more. So it, it's a wonderful thing. Um, so uh, I, I'm thrilled you've come in. I mentioned earlier that you're a new advertiser here on the station, but more than that, you're in with some exciting news. You're not just any advertiser. You're going to be sponsoring Morning Light. I'm, I'm so thrilled. This is this is so exciting. Well, again, my world's colliding. It seems like such a perfect fit. Light, rather important in photography, I think. So it just, it really feels like a, a perfect fit for us. Well, it's my honor to, uh, to, uh, to be part of this, uh, this show. I, it's the show I get to listen to most during the day. On my, my drive in, I live outside of Winnipeg and, and I've been able to listen to the morning show uh, for years now and, and it's just such a pleasure and it, I, I find it uh, an honor to be able to support it and hopefully uh, uh, keep supporting it in, in the years to come and I look forward to uh, seeing some of the my fellow listeners coming into the store and having some conversations about music or photography. Totally. Uh, so I'm going to test it out here. So uh, Morning Light, classical compositions for your weekday mornings captured by Photo Central. For unmatched customer service, care, and quality, see Photo Central on Portage at Lipton. It sounds pretty good. I think it works. Yeah, I think, think so too. Andrew, thanks so much for coming in this morning. My pleasure, Simon. A pleasure seeing you.